This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Revival Gold, Mr. Hugh Agro. Hugh, how are you this morning? Very good. Thanks for having me, Gerardo. Thanks for coming on. You had some news. The headline reads, Revival Gold releases additional drill results and provides exploration update. You and I have seen multiple bull markets, and you know that the people, the generalists, the retail side of it specifically, is always looking for the big, splashy, high-grade numbers that tend to get the bulk of the attention in our space in the immediate aftermath of a press release, right? And so news, I wanted to make sure that I set it up properly and provided some context because like the last news release, I don't believe it's being received um, with the macro picture in mind and the macro picture being you have a PEA due soon that will provide some economics and and, and provide a, a, a window into what a restart operation looks like. And I think that the news today um, kind of speaks to how that is progressing. Would you care to provide some context there and fill in the blanks for me, Hugh? We're doing the basic blocking and tackling to set ourselves up, as you say, uh, Gerardo, for a production decision down the road. And uh, so we've got to do this infill drilling. It's the first series of 30 holes that we drilled this season, and uh, we're putting those results out as they come. Not particularly exciting for an exploration-focused market, but uh, it's the basic blocking and tackling that we need to do to set ourselves up for uh, for future uh, operation and cash flow. And, uh, and that's all proceeding very well. Let's get into the results. You had good mineralization. You had 28.3 um, meters of 0.93 grams per ton gold, 34.5 meters of 0.55 grams per ton gold. And, and five of the six holes that were released today are infill core holes, correct? At the Heidi target area? That's correct. Uh, all of them are very close to surface, you know, within 100-ish uh, meters of uh, surface. Um, and all of them are complementary to what uh, we've already got at Haiti in terms of a resource. And there's a fantastic figure in the press release which, which describes the potential to continue to expand the resource at Haiti. And just to put some context to this, it's an important part of the overall restart of the Bear Track Arnett operation uh, because we have oxide material here, uh, which has uh, good recoveries and, as I said, is all close to surface. So the more we can add into the mix, uh, the more that we can build on the PEA that we'll come out with here uh, very shortly <clears throat> on the, on the uh, first phase restart of the operation. And importantly, this PEA just contemplates the resource uh, that we already have, which was put out in uh, February this year. So it does not include any of this drilling, does not include any of the potential to expand uh, the resource that's uh, coming out of this drilling. Let's talk about the sixth hole, hole 226D, which was in that area between the north and the south pit. Now, the good news is you hit mineralization, right? This is along the Panther Creek shear zone, um, which, of course, is, 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 is the host to the mineralization here. The mineralization that you hit was, you know, it, it wasn't high grade. It was, it was, it was uh, further down. It was 6.1 meters of 0.36 grams per ton gold with complete results pending. Can you provide some context there? Because again, I think people are missing the point of there being mineralization between the two pits, right? Yeah, very important to talk about this. So uh, the area between the two pits is a prime exploration target for us. We've uh, planned and have completed now uh, four of uh, five holes in that area. Um, and we felt it was important to get this result out because uh, we do encounter mineralization in the favorable structure of rocks, and that's uh, that's very uh, that's very positive for us. So, you know, uh, in, in any other location, I think this would be uh, you know have the geologists jumping up and down. We know we're in the vicinity of of a gold uh, major gold deposit, uh, so maybe less exciting for the geologists uh, than than it might otherwise be. But it's important because it allows us to vector in on more material at Bear Track Arnett. And remember, we've got three million ounces of gold already and so anything we're adding to that is going to be uh is is going to be especially valuable and uh, particularly around the uh, the fringes of the existing uh 
pit plans for uh, for that resource, conceptual pit plans for that resource. So this is important. It's um, it's the first first hole out of the five in that particular area. We're also drilling in the Joss area where we have structures that go outside of the Panther Creek shear zone there. That's a, an important target area for us and opening up new potential. And and uh, thirdly, we're drilling in the Rabbit area. We actually have two drill rigs in the Rabbit area right now. They're struggling with uh, winter snow and, uh, and tough conditions, but the guys are doing a great job. That's a three-kilometer step out from the main deposit. And so lots of exploration results uh, to come in the uh, in the months ahead. And let's be frank, outside of the PEA, that's really the, the, the results from the step outs is really what the market is, is, is salivating for, right, Hugh? People want to see if you're going to be able to tack on another million or two million ounces to what is already a very, very robust three million ounce plus resource, right? You bet. Excellent. Hugh, you mentioned that the PEA is expected later this month. There's not a lot of month left. Um, I suspect we'll be chatting <laughs> relatively soon. Very soon. Very soon. Uh, that, that, that's great. Anything else that you'd like to add? No, thanks very much, Gerardo. And uh, we'll, chat, uh, we'll chat soon. Excellent. Thanks again for your time, Hugh. I appreciate it.